When we first started looking at giraffe, we thought they were everywhere. But they've gone extinct in at least seven African countries in the last hundred years. Giraffe numbers continue to decline in the wild, and only 10% of their historical range remains. We can see the giraffes there. A team of conservationists, led by Dr. Julian Fennessy, commit to save Africa's giraffe before it's too late. Get ready. In their race to stop the decline, the team must confront the challenges of a modernizing world. Groundbreaking discoveries provide new insights into the lives of these gentle giants. And in an unprecedented effort to save the species, the team attempts to return giraffe to their former range. It's amazing that it's been so much work done on elephant, lion, but giraffe, they've really been the forgotten animal. And that's why we call it the silent extinction. Our best estimates from the 1700s have giraffe across almost all of Africa, with the exception of the equatorial rainforests and Sahara. We believe that there was more than a million giraffe across Africa. Today, our best estimates are about 111,000 in the wild. The biggest thing that's impacting giraffe is people. Habitat loss and habitat fragmentation are the biggest impacts on giraffe in Africa. There's just not enough land for them. If there's not enough land, there's not enough food. In East Africa, they've declined by more than 50% in the last 30 years alone. As you move across Central Africa, numbers dwindled by more than 95%. This is where giraffe have been hardest hit. Civil war and unrest, lots of poaching, all of these issues have combined. And then you go to West Africa, the only giraffe population is in Niger. They're gone from the rest of the region. It's crazy. There's just over 600 odd animals left in the wild. With the rate of decline increasing, Julian's work has never been more urgent. GCF is a small organisation working across the continent purely to help save giraffe in the wild. We work really closely with communities, to governments, to research institutions. Every decision we make is based on solid science. The Giraffe Conservation Foundation was started in 2009. The team operates in 16 African countries and have an impact on more than 45 million acres of giraffe habitat. One of the most amazing things we found out for conserving giraffe is there's four species. There's the northern, there's the reticulated, the Maasai, and the southern. The northern has three different subspecies of that, which is the West African giraffe, the Cordofan, and the Nubian. Reticulated and Maasai, they don't have any, but then the southern have both Angolan and South African subspecies.
a giraffe has been spotted with a snare cutting into its leg. The team works quickly to bring the four-meter giraffe bull to the ground and remove the wire snare from its leg. Here's a small wire which had had it. That was an unbelievable. Many people would not know it, but Niger is home to the last West African giraffe in the wild. There's none in any zoos around the world. They're right here. Together with the Niger government and the Sahara Conservation Fund and the local community, we're here to try and make a huge difference to help save the last West African giraffe. It takes two or three minutes, uh, the drug kicks in. Sometimes they'll go down quite quickly, sometimes they'll give us a bit of a run. At the right stage, we'll pull ahead of the giraffe and using the ropes, pull it down and, uh, and quickly give the antidote. After giving the antidote, that animal is totally awake. Well, from my side, I'm concerned about the safety of the giraffe, but of course, you have to be careful with people as well. Yeah, let's just wait. After recording measurements, checking its age, and taking blood samples, the team prepares to stand the giraffe up and lead it into the translocation trailer. Successfully in, the first giraffe is quickly transported to the holding boma. L'éducation qui est impliquée dans le cadre de l'éducation environnementale des enfants pour voir comment les gens vont s'approprier la ressource, comment ils vont grandir avec ça. Et, si, et quand les enfants comprennent ça, je crois qu'il y aura moins de problèmes que ceux que nous, nous avons fait pour décimer ces espèces quand elles existaient. Donc il y a plusieurs acteurs qui sont impliqués, le tourisme, les agents de développement communautaire, les autorités régionales, les autorités locales, les chefs de tribu, la conservation va partir dans le sens positif parce que les communautés ont compris. With the giraffe safely in the boma, Pete, Julian, and the team head back to dart and capture the remaining seven giraffe. Unlike many other animals, giraffe don't live in the one herd. They have a fission-fusion relationship, which means they come together and go apart. So in any day, they can be with five, 10, 100 different giraffe. And this is really helpful when it comes to translocations. You're not splitting up herds because there is no giraffe that live in one single herd. We've got eight animals here, three males and five females. We could have caught more, but we decided eight was a good number, two loads of four. We haven't done this trip before, so rather be careful.
So the best way to calm down a giraffe is through its stomach. You feed them lovely food and after a few days, they'll even take food out of your hand. So our goal is that these healthy giraffe are gonna head out into a new landscape and over time repopulate. Foundation, and that's the only organization that's concentrated on conserving and managing giraffe in the wild throughout Africa. So their main job is to look after giraffes. Do you guys think they are doing a great job? Yes. Sure, sure. Yes, yes. Why? Yes, yes. Because they are taking care of the giraffes and conserving yes. them. Yes. So the reason why you are seeing giraffes today is because somebody has been conserving them. So if there was nobody looking after them in the past then you guys won't see the giraffes today. Communities need to benefit from conservation. So partnership is really critical. The concept of Keep is really simple. We take kids for one school day and take them to a national park or to a natural area just not far from their home, and just show them the beauty of, of their own country. And we don't only talk about wildlife, but we talk about conservation. So in our very first activity, we are going to track animals. Have you guys tracked animals before? Who has ever tracked animals before? Hmm? Our priorities should be investing in the African child, where we expose our youth and our children to conservation and make them proud to be African and know what is happening within the African landscape. Giraffe goes extinct. It's because we are greedy. It's because we don't care what is the future of this planet. I cannot imagine a world without giraffe. You know, it says so much that if we can't protect the world's tallest mammal, then what else are we going to protect? We need to do something, and we need to do it now. Giraffe are an important component of an ecosystem, and by saving giraffe, we also save their habitat and then the habitat for other animals. The more wildlife you have, the more animals, the bigger the mix, the better for tourism. And the more tourism you have, that in the end trickles down and benefits local communities. <laughs> Nos petits enfants vont voir les girafes et ils sont, ils sont contents. Il y en a qui ne connaissent les girafes que, que sur les papiers. Maintenant, ils les voient en nature. C'est une très bonne chose. I can comfortably retire and now sit back and see girafes roaming our beautiful landscape. To me, that is so satisfying. I'll tell my children and my children's children that I made a contribution to nature and to this country and to wildlife conservation.